Shalom, Shalom. It's your brother Abadia from Yahweh, Yahweh Shai Bad. I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, and Chakadash. The bonus to my elder apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. Sing an honor salutation to all you sincere brothers, constantly pushing this word truth sincerity. Peace and blessings also be to the one third and also to the confusion of faces. Call me Allah. I just ran across this article and, um, you know, prepare yourselves, brothers, putting up your videos. Um, it's going to become a point to where YouTube is going to start deleting accounts that they um, deem aren't accumulating any money or it's just not being monetized. So this is from an article from the website Mashable.com. It says YouTube says it can delete your account if you're not commercial commercially viable. All right. So I'm just gonna read a little bit of this article here. It says, "On uh, actually, I'm just gonna skim through it." In the section titled "Account Suspension and Termination," with the subheader "Terminations by YouTube for Service Changes," the site's new terms, which are set to take effect on December 10th. Ask the following YouTube may terminate your access or your Google account's access to all or part of the service if YouTube believes in its sole discretion that provision of the service to you is no longer commercially viable. Okay, so in other words, if they're not making any money off of you, if you're not accumulating any dough, they're pretty much going to deem you as insignificant okay in its most basic terms I don't know why we're doing that in its most basic terms if YouTube isn't making money off you the company can delete your account the platform's current term of service do not include this language alright so pretty much man it's, it's coming to a point where um they're gonna they really doing this so that they can get rid of the word being pushed out you know they really trying to um cut back i don't know why all, all these ads keep popping up so lock it, forgive me all right so they're really doing this so they can try and get rid of this truth i mean i'm already on my backup account because they suspended my account for going in on who the real jews are you know out of, out of all the videos that um are put up on youtube they deem it as hate speech all the videos that i put up you know, but they deem that one as hate speech, all right? So anyways, as written, these broad terms give YouTube the power to delete a creator's account if they upload or live stream video that, for example, doesn't pull in enough advertising revenue. So in other words, if you're working, it's like if you're working at a company, right? And you're not, if you're a car salesman and you're not selling enough cars or you're not making the quota they're just going to get rid of you. So in other words, if you're on YouTube and you're not making them any money, they're just going to delete your account. Okay? So um, YouTube viewers aren't in the clear either. Notice the terms. So even if you're viewing the videos, if you're watching the elders or if you're watching brothers, okay, YouTube viewers aren't in the clear either. Notice the terms are worded to cover anyone who has an account, not just as content creators. The language used can mean that a user who looks at lots of content but doesn't necessarily monetize can also have their account removed. So it's going to become a point where you probably you won't even be able to to um, listen to the, the free music and videos like you used to or even listen to brothers videos unless unless you're making the money. So in, in other words, they're probably going to make you pay for um pay for YouTube monthly just for you to use it okay because if you're not paying for it but you're just watching they're just going to delete your account okay <clears throat> now, this is from someone on Twitter it's from um, Christian Marco YouTube has new terms of service on December 10th this basically says that if channels don't make enough money they will possibly terminate them <laughs> Looks like I fought to the very end, but now I may 
be close to losing my livelihood, losing my passion, my audience, and such and such and such. So people make a lot of money off of YouTube. So even people are going to be out of a job, be out of work, you know. I'm going to read on a little bit more. A generous read of these terms can be seen as YouTube giving itself the ability to remove users and channels that dis disseminate hate speech or other violent rhetoric. Okay? Like I said, I knew exactly why they're doing it. They want this word to stop being pushed out. Because out of all the folly that's on YouTube, they really are concerned with the brothers, uh, 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 the Hebrew Israelites, pushing out the truth of who Esau Edom is, who the real Jews are. About um, what 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 the mystery of Hall Babylon the Great is, what the mark of the beast is, they don't want the information out there. Okay. It says, for example, an account that starts creating white supremacist content can certainly be deemed as no longer commercially viable. Okay. So um, it should also be noted that the terms specifically state the company can terminate a user's Google account as well. So you can even lose your Google account. As written, a YouTuber can lose their Gmail, Google, photos, documents, and more just for no longer being commercially viable on the video platform. And I remember I saw an article, dang, it was not so long ago. They said that Google pretty much is taking over YouTube. Like YouTube pretty much um, was bought out. You know. Now here goes an example of someone from um, Mr. Anti-Bully on Twitter. YouTube pre-2020. Oh, wow, I made 10 bucks off ads. Neat. YouTube post-2020. Your account has been suspended and your Gmail deleted for not being commercially viable. You're also being fined $42,000 for uploading Let's Play Resident Evil Part 8 under um, COPPA, COPA. So, I mean, you know, somebody's probably just putting it up there as a, as a joke or, you know, to be um satirical. But that's pretty much what it's going to be like. All right. That's going to pretty much be the terms of YouTube pretty soon. And, um, so I can bear with me for a moment. And this right here is what's going to lead to the family of the word. Hold on. So I'm going to close out with this precept. And this reminds me of, I was just listening to that. Matter of fact, just not even listening. I listened to the Elder Apostle Gabar's video about how they, um, we're not here to entertain you. And I even uploaded a snippet of it on my page. And lo and behold, I just read this article. Okay? Because the famine is, of the word is coming soon. And people are going to want answers. And it's going to be too late. Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land. Not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh. You have the liberty now to get this truth, to get the answer, to get this understanding. But all you scoffers and scorners, you're not going to get it. Neither do you want it. But for those of you who are the hopeful of let, <clears throat> who are the hopeful of let, this is your time, man. You better wake up. You better try and get this truth, man, before before you can't get it anymore. Verse 12, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh and shall not find it. So people are going to be scrambling in that day. When all these prophecies, these prophecies really start to hit, when they, st when they really start to be magnified, you're going to be looking for the men of the Lord. You're going to be seeking the prophets, the apostles, the men that was on the corners, raising a choice, uh, raising a um, voice, blowing a Blowing a trumpet, telling you of the evil to come. But no, 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 no. You took the elders of Great Millstone and the other apostles as a joke. Now the joke's on you, you know. And I have one more precept I'm going to close out. I'm going into um, the Apocrypha. This is <clears throat> Sirach chapter 5 verse 7. Or Ecclesiasticus 5 and 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. And put not off from day to day. So don't be slack in your ministry. Don't be slack in your reading. Don't be slack in getting his word. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. 
and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. So just when you think it's safe and sound, the Lord is going to bring something your way that you was not aware of. Why? Because you're not seeking the Lord. And you're tearing from day to day. So you, it's the time to seek him is now. And if you haven't been seeking him, you're probably too late. But remember, the scripture says that um that the, the elect, the righteous shall scarcely make it. So you may have some brothers that may come in in the last fold. Some sisters that may come in in the last minutes, you know. But man, this is the time now. If you're reading this message, if you see these articles, this is the time for you to, to come back to the Lord. And to wake up, all right. So with that being said, double honors to my elders. Call hello, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. Single honors to the elect. Peace and blessings to the one third and confusion of faces. Like I always say, ask for forgiveness. Pray without ceasing. Stay humble. Remain diligent. Kwam Yasha Allah. Mofla Baba Shalom.